Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint and we are here with a progress update on the Kieran. But before we get started, roll those credits. Okay, so we have had the Kieran for a little while now. We've been printing with their high precision resin. And you guys had some questions. So first and foremost, we will, we will, we'll go to the, uh, the detail in some of these prints in a second. But I just want to talk about what the high tree Kieran is. So we have another video. This takes a traditional MSLA printer and it replaces it with a DSP light engine. So this is a hybrid between MSLA and DLP style printing. It marries all of the benefits and tries to remove a lot of the negatives. So it is cost effective. This light engine is rated for 20,000 hours of continuous printing. And you can take your old MSLA printer where the screen has probably died and you can replace it with this DSPP. So you're getting the low cost of entry. You're getting the speed of MSLA and the speed of DLP. And you're getting the longevity of SLA or DLP all for MSLA prices. So it really is trying to check all of those boxes. Now the Kieran is unique in its space. We've not seen a DSP light engine before. So unsurprisingly, a lot of people had a lot of questions. One of the questions was, could you compare it with an 8K monochrome screen? We have done that. So you can take a look at a couple. We've done a little model here and we've got a couple of other models here that we've done that are nice and small that show some of the details. We've done some larger stuff as well. So you can take a look at that. But what we are looking at here is a really, really high quality finish to these models. If you asked me whether or not these models were done on an 8K monochrome or on this, which is effectively a 4K resolution, um, I, I honestly, I can't really tell the difference between the two, which is really surprising because normally the difference between 8K and 4K is really recognizable, but somehow this manages to capture all of that crisp detail and pumps it into these models in a really cool way. So let's do some close-ups take a little look at what we've got. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have. So we have some incredibly detailed little guys here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some pictures with our macro lens and I'm gonna put those up now. So that you can see just how detailed these things really are. They are incredibly detailed models. These ones are from Heroes Infinite um, and they have come out incredible. Really, really nice. All the detail is there, really, really good. What I will show you here is this, and I'll put these two models side by side. This model is from our Uniformation GK2 8K. Um, and frankly, I think they are incredibly comparable on um, on the quality of those surfaces and the quality of those details. We then bring in this lady. So this is uh, from another Patreon. I'll put a link to her STL as well. And my God. So for a start, this went together perfectly. So dimensional accuracy on this, really, really high. So I'm really impressed with how this came out. Again, I'll put up some pictures I take with our macro lens so you can take a look at this in a little bit more detail. But she has come out really, really nicely as well. And then last but not least, we have this one. So this we've obviously done our, um, we've done our highlights and lowlights on already, just to try and pick out how some of this is working. But I think you can agree that this is absolutely astonishing quality. Again, I'll take some pictures of the macro lens that you can take a look at now.
and you can see just how much detail we're picking out on this model, which is astonishing, absolutely. Really, really impressed with how that's turning out models. For miniatures and for hobby grade stuff, this is going to be a machine that is gonna last you a really, really long time and produce for you those repeatable, clean results. The Chi2 box profile that we were given, absolutely bang on. Um, because the support settings that on this, again, we're seeing almost no support scarring, seeing really, really nice surface textures and details in these prints that are just stunning to look at. Just absolutely crisp, clean, and exactly what you want from this type of resin printer. So, as you can see, the detail captured on these pieces Really, really impressive. I'm, I'm super surprised. Some people asked whether or not we had the fixed lens or whether we had the variable lens. Our one is the fixed lens. So it will only work with the machine that we have right here. We can't really adjust it too much if we had different machines. Um, this machine has been in our rotation, printing parts for other, uh, other prints. Um, and I have to say, it's doing a really good job. Um, it's, it's very, very easy to print. We're using Chi2 box, the same as you would do normally. Um, this actually comes with a year's free Chi2 box pro, um, or we got a year's free uh, Chi2 box pro, and it works exactly the same as you would any MSLA printer. I took the, uh, I took the settings we were using for our Uniformation GK2, which is an 8K printer. Obviously, I adjusted the, um, the screen parameters so that it would work with this. Um, and what I have been getting is absolutely gorgeous results. You saw from those prints that we're looking at almost no support scarring. It's printed really, really quickly. We're looking at 1.2 seconds a layer in their high precision resin colors. Um, and even when we're looking at models that are slightly larger, where we've done the low light highlight already, uh, well, we've sort of put on a little bit of contrast. You can see already the quality that you're going to be able to turn out with this printer. So I'm really, really impressed by what we're able to get out of this. This machine is a Kickstarter, right? And on this channel, we have said before how we feel about Kickstarters. Hightree have already delivered their rocket. Um, there were some logistics issues. There's no getting away from that. But ultimately, what we have now is their second crack at Kickstarter. They know all the pitfalls. They know where they need to focus and where they need to get things done. And frankly, I think this is a really solid pitch for, um, for, for a really a gap in the market that we didn't have. So, um, so the, there's a reality that MSLA machines, they, they wear out. The screens are a consumable part and the screens aren't cheap, especially once you start moving up to 8K screens. Um, and the fact that you could buy this light engine for pretty much the, less than you can buy a lot of screen replacements, um, you know, I think it's a really worthwhile investment. 20,000 hours is two and a half years of continuous printing back to back. I think that's worth the investment. If you just looked at the amount of screens you'd use in that time, which would probably be about five to eight screens in that time, depending on how long they lasted for you, this is considerably cheaper than doing that. Um, plus you get consistent results, really, really high quality. And frankly, I'm actually falling in love with it a little bit. So thanks very much for joining us. Let us know in the comments if you've got specific call outs that you want to do. And we'll take you around the machine, let you have a little look at how it works. Thanks very much for joining us, guys. Speak to you later.